They dream of Olympic greatness. This kind of puts a little bit of the glitter on top of the gold. Running, jumping, and training for the chance to compete in Rio. It is a very challenging event because everybody's trying to come with their A game on that day. Most athletes will tell you the trials to make the Olympic team, that's where the real stress is. More stressful than the Olympics. That's true. Take a look at some of the local athletes working hard to get to Rio. Trials is always more stressful than the Olympics. Track is really hard. Training is really hard. It's always good to visualize things and then work to see those things happen. Donald Scott came to Eastern Michigan University on a football scholarship, but he loved track too. At the football, I just decided to hang it up and it just focused on track because at the time, I was doing good and I knew that I can get better at track, so hey, why not try to go to the Olympics? The 24-year-old's focus is triple jump. You take off on one foot and then you'll cycle in the air um, and then you'll land on that same foot and then um, it'll be a bound to the other leg. And then um, after that leg, you just hit the sand. And then from there, they measure the jump. Donald spends hours at the track, the end goal, firmly in mind. Just growing up, I didn't have a lot. And then I'm actually the first person to go to college in my family. And then um, I graduated college with a degree. And then now I'm chasing my dreams in sports. Training alongside him at EMU is Ypsilanti's Candace Davis Price. 100 meter hurdles has just kind of been a passion of mine. There's just so much adrenaline and emotion that goes into it. It's it's really hard to describe. Candace ran for the University of Southern California, then competed professionally around the world. Her career had her second in the world to none other than Olympian Lolo Jones. She narrowly missed qualifying for the 2008 Olympics. In 2012, she was injured before the trials, worked through it, but failed to qualify for the Olympic team. And I did pretty well given that circumstance. I got ninth, I didn't make the final, and come to find out six weeks later I was like 10 weeks pregnant with Gianna. Making a third run for the Olympics, 30-year-old Candace sees her daughter as her secret weapon. Looking at G, I was just like, I don't ever want you to, to grow up and say, hey, mommy, why did you stop running? And me say, because I had you. I guess it's more about making sure I'm an example for her and also me feeling like when it's done that I did everything I could do and there were no regrets. I am a little bit more experienced than most of my competitors, uh, as they'll tell you, as they, they'll tell you I'm the old guy in the group now. Jeff Porter is getting his PhD at EMU, working at his alma mater, University of Michigan, and training there as well. The 30-year-old is determined to qualify for the 110-meter hurdles like he did for London in 2012. It'll be a second Olympics. Uh, hopefully, the goal is to make the team and then get a medal. Jeff's wife, Tiffany Porter, and her sister, Cindy O'Feely, just qualified for the women's 100-meter hurdles. They're running for Great Britain. They, too, attended the University of Michigan. All the training, all the injuries, all the heartache, whatever, before that day doesn't matter. You have to get on that day and execute, and that's what I really try to focus on. U of M's Gina Gall is also hoping to become a two-time Olympian in the women's 800-meter race. Go, come on, come on, push! Local athletes working for Olympic greatness just trying to chase my dreams right now. I kind of feel like win, lose, or draw that I'm being an, like an awesome, attainable hero to my daughter. Only about 30 more days or so until the Olympics start. Man, hey, there's no losing when you get that far. That's true. It's a huge accomplishment. Such talented local athletes. Yep. Very cool.